how to customize default collection page in Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can customize your collection page in Shopify. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to Shopify.com then simply sign into your account if you have one. If you don't, it is very easy to create. Now, the second thing that you need to do is right here, go to your home or the admin dashboard. Then you have to click on products. Now on the products, we have the choice of the collections. You have here to select or create the collections that you need to set. For example, in my case, I have set a bestseller collection. Here we have a summer collection, winter pro collection, women's clothing and home, etc. Now, let's go ahead right here to the theme. I'm going simply to click on enter sales channels. We have online store. Click on it. Now, we are going simply to click on the navigation. Here, under navigation, we have the menus. Either you can go ahead and add a menu right here. For example, you can name it. Let's say that all collections, collections like that. And simply you can go ahead and add some items. For example, I'm going to add some items name like summer, uh, like that summer. And the paste or link right here, I'm going to click on collections. And then we are going to search for summer collection. Here we have it, click on add. And the second item is the winter, for example, winter, search or paste a link, click on collections again, then we are going to seek for winter collection, add it, and I am going to add another menu item, which is bestseller, bestseller, or best like that seller. And we are going to paste it to another collection. Here we have the bestseller. Let's say that it is like that. Click on add and here we have. Go ahead and save that menu. And we have created that menu. Once you have set everything right here, as you can see, all collections, we have summer winner, bestseller. You are going to the themes. Go ahead to the themes, then click on customize. Now, we have here... Uh, the header and as you can see the menu that we have created will not show up yet now click on the header and here as you can see we have the menu go ahead right here and click on change change menu and right there you have all collections when you click on it click on select and it will appear right there we have the summer we have the winner, as you can see. We have also the bestsellers. I am going to let you see here the bestsellers. And here we have it. That was very simple in this case. Now, let's go ahead right there and exit. I'm going to leave that page without saving. You can also go ahead and make another trick right there within the navigation. Do not, if you want, uh, add another menu, but in case or in another, in another situation, you are going to select, for example, the main menu. And right here, simply, we are going to create a collection from here. Let's say that we have an, a menu item. Go ahead and click on add menu item. Simply go and add uh, or write collection like that and here we have it let's go ahead and put for example some collections right here you can add whatever you want from here best sellers like that add it right here and in this one I'm going to drag and drop it right there add another menu item I'm going to name it winter 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 here I'm going to the collections again, select winter collection, add it. And here we are going to add the other ones. Summer, for example, 
paste or add a link to the collection summer or summer collection click on add and finally the best seller best seller right here link it to the collection again and here we have it now we have the three items or the three collections that we are going to add simply click on the six or not a six vertical dots go right here under the collection drag it a little bit to the right and as you can see it is a drag a drag menu or a drop down menu for the same as right here for the bestseller and the summer i'm going to grab it put it right here click on save and here we have it now let's go to the themes we are going to visualize that effect here we have the collection added click on collection it will drop down a menu now if you want to set up this collection as you can see when you click on it here you can go ahead and customize each collection or each page of the collection uh, individually for example you can add some blocks some sections you can add or change the color scheme for example for this particular one all you have to do is to change the preview right here click on uh, for example summer collection or any collection that you want to uh, select right there and make it right here if you don't if you don't find it or where you want all you have to do is to click on this drop down menu collections it will show up the default collection we have here five collection created and everything will be gathered right there here we have the best sellers you can change it from here you can get the winner and etc here you can change or make some edits for each page or each collection individually when you finish everything don't forget to click on save and you will be good to go and in order to add some products to your uh, collections all you have to do is to click on products right there we have the collection created of course here for example winter collection summer collection go to products select the products that you are going to add for the collection for example for this one i'm going to add it for a collection or to a collection here on the product editing section we have here collections click on it and it will appear the collections you have the best sellers home page summer collection winner and etc I'm going to, for example, to add it to both of bestsellers and winter like that here. Click on save and the product will be added automatically. You can do the same thing for all of these products. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.